There's nothing like a sunny spring day. Warmth with a light breeze, sounds of birds chirping, and the feeling that another dreary winter has passed you by. Of course, as spring arrives and we all start to spend more time outside, do you ever find yourself worrying about what you can't see in the air around you? And not just those pesky allergens, but the microscopic pollutants that end up in the air from places all around. It may be a clear day, but what's lurking in the air that we can't see? The Air Note can tell you. The Air Note is an air quality monitoring device built by Blues Wireless in partnership with SafeCast, an international volunteer driven organization devoted to open environmental citizen science. It's a cellular connected solar power device that anyone can set up in minutes. Now I've been using the Air Note at my house for the past few months, and today I want to show you what's inside and how it provides a better picture of air quality to the global community. The Air Note is a small device that comes in a clean, white injection molded enclosure. The top is angled to give the attached solar panel optimal sunlight, and the back includes an LCD panel and a QR code that you can scan for device configuration, but more on that in a bit. The bottom is vented to allow airflow to the sensors and has a small power switch. There are six screws on the device, two on the bottom and four on the back. The bottom two can be removed to top up the battery over USB, but I removed all six so that I could get a good look inside. There's an 1800 milliamp pouch LiPo battery inside, which is plugged into the main PCB, a slight variant of the Blues Note Carrier AL. On the board, you'll find a note card, which serves as the cellular connected data pump for the device, an onboard GPS, and cell antennas. Plugged into the note carrier is a solar hat, which charges the LiPo. The panel on the solar hat is a high efficiency solar module from IX Solar that I've put a link to in the video description. It's a powerful little panel that works well even in low light conditions. Finally, there's the sensor board connected by an FFC cable to the note carrier. It contains the LCD, a Bosch BME 280 temp humidity and pressure sensor, and a Plantower PMS 7003M air particle counter. There's a lot packed into this small enclosure. That's the inside of the device, but what happens when you turn it on? Let's take a look. Once the device is powered on, it goes through a self-test cycle to make sure that all of its sensors are operational. Then the screen updates to show the current PM 2.5 reading. You can customize the information that displays on the screen by scanning the QR code on the back of the device and selecting from other sensor values like temp, humidity, pressure, and one or 10 micrometer particulate matter detection. The AirNote is pre-configured to send its data to a public project on the Blues Wireless NoteUp.io cloud service, and you can visit this device to dig into the nitty-gritty details of what your AirNote is reading. Once the data arrives in NoteUp.io, it is routed to the SafeCast network, which collects air quality, environmental, and radiation data for thousands of devices around the world. You can view historical data for your own AirNote using the SafeCast Grafana dashboard and view a global map of devices at SafeCast.org. And for a bit of pseudo dystopian fun, you can also visit SafeCast.live to watch a real time stream of device readings from around the world, set to one of four haunting backing tracks. The AirNote is a powerful device, and it's a perfect example of how the Blues Wireless Note Card and NoteHub.io cloud service make real world cellular IoT solutions easier to deploy than ever. To get a better picture of the air around you and contribute to a growing global community of citizen scientists, you can get your own air note at shop.blues.io.